5, City of Spartanburg, it's making some plans before growing pains begin. Leaders are holding comprehensive planning sessions, trying to ensure that Sparkle City is ready for the future. So, to make, make sure those plans are all inclusive, the city is trying to get input from all over the community. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown has this update before the meeting. Gordon, Amy, you know, housing, affordable housing is an issue all across the upstate and right here in Spartanburg as it continues to grow. The Spartanburg City Council, they're meeting at this hour. They want to make sure that they have housing that's available that grows with them as the city grows. Spartanburg is growing and now it's time to plan for the next 20 years of growth and development. A lot of that includes making sure people have a place to live. Well, it's an exciting time in Spartanburg and there's a, there's a lot of community momentum. There's a great deal of community partnership um, occurring. With so much happening, officials say it is time to set new aspirations and the United Way of the Piedmont wants those new plans to include lots of affordable housing. So that can include you know, new construction, rehabilitation, rehabilitation of current housing, but also looking at what policies do we need related to housing. While some find themselves paying weekly rent just to have a roof over their heads, according to the government reports, people should spend no more than 30% of their income on housing. The United Way wants people to know that there are programs available to help them move into rental or ownership. To go from homelessness to paying maybe $800 a month for housing, that's a big jump. Um, so we need to make sure that we fill all those gaps in that housing continuum on, on that ladder. Spartanburg City Council is allowing industries and organizations to come in and to give their input on future developments. We're excited about the progress that has been made um, in some of our neighborhoods and in the downtown, but it's time to set the bar higher um, and uh, that's what we'll try to define through this planning process. In addition to other organizations, city officials say they want to make sure there's a good mix of housing supply available for years to come. A little over a thousand children who, you know, they're expected to perform in school and do their homework and read and study, but if they don't have a place to call home, how are those expectations going to end? to be reached. And in addition to affordable housing, millennials are making a huge impact on the growth here in Spartanburg. City officials say they want to make sure that they provide housing that will allow them to have a place to live, enjoy, and enjoy. Reporting live from Spartanburg, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. All right, Kim, thank you. It'll be interesting to see how all of this shapes up because the city still has to hear from public safety, transportation, public services, and the public, the dates for those meetings should be posted soon.